Hi, this is Andrew with Infinity Cutting Tools. We've had a lot of customers ask us if it would be possible to make a router bit set to allow window sash to be made ranging in thickness from one and one eighth of an inch to one and a quarter inches thick. That's why we decided to make the Window Sash Junior router bit set. This set is smaller than the standard Window Sash router bit set that we used to make a window in how to make a window sash part one. If you saw that video, you'll know the procedure that we used to make a window sash. And the same procedure can be used to make a window with the window sash junior set. However, because the dimensions of the window sash junior are a little bit smaller, the method for making the tenons within the window changes just a little bit. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make those changes so you can make your windows using the junior set. In order to make our window sash thinner, we have to shrink both the profile portion of the window and the flat where the tenon is traditionally housed. Because this area shrinks, if we were to house the tenon in a traditional manner, the window would be too weak. In order to overcome this, we actually grow the tenon toward the rabbit side of the window. This means we have to make one or two extra cuts when creating our tenon, but it's very easy to make this. And actually, this method is also compatible with the standard window sash set. So if you like this method, you can use it regardless of the type of window sash router bit set you're using. I've laid out the cuts that we need to make to expose the tenons on the ends of one of my rails and muttons. For the top cut, to expose the top of the tenon, I'm gonna make a cut at the table saw using a dado blade one half of an inch deep and one inch wide. I'm also gonna make that same cut on one edge of my rail and I'm also gonna make that cut on the top edge of my mutton bars. I'm then going to lower my dado set to a quarter of an inch and make a cut on the underside to expose the bottom of my tenon and also on the opposite edge. I'm going to make that quarter inch cut on all three remaining edges of my mutton bar as well. With our tenons created at the table saw, we're able to follow the exact same method that we would with the standard window sash set. We can use our tenon to locate our corresponding mortise in our rails and styles. We can cut our cope cut on the ends of our rails and mutton bars, and we can go ahead and profile all of our pieces using our style cutter. Once we have all these steps completed, we have one more step that we need to add for the Window Sash Junior, and that is to remove this little square of material at the intersection of the top of the tenon and the cope cut. This little square measures about one eighth of an inch by a quarter of an inch, and I simply pair that away with a chisel. This little square of material is also gonna be on your mutton bars and it also needs to be removed. Just remember, it's gonna be on both sides of the tenon. With our last little piece of material removed, we're ready to do a dry fit. And if everything fits together correctly, we can go ahead and do our final assembly. That's all the changes that are required to use the Window Sash Junior compared to the standard Window Sash set. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our blog for more great information on the projects we build and the tools we use here in the Infinity Tools shop.